Hello everyone, this is Ali Palmer's Communication. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can reset, that means factory hard reset to your TP-Link TLWR740N wireless router. This is 150 Mbps router. For this, you need a laptop or desktop PC, your router itself. Here I have the router. Disconnect all cable you are connected with the router, leave only one cable that is your power cable. As you see I disconnect all the cable, I don't have no cable, only the power cable I have here. And we have to search the reset button, hard reset button. As you see we have a small hole here and in this we have hard reset button, for this we need a pen. Could be any pen, here I have one pen. and. You have to put the pen, the needle of the pen inside this and hold for 30 seconds until all the light here blinking. Okay. Let me do 1, 2, 3. Check the lid. When all the lid blinking together, that means it's reset at that moment. Don't press so much hard. Press gently. And as you see, all the lid is blink one time and leave this pen as you see the setting lead and the power lead is on now you need to connect your router to all the cables first connect the internet cable this one should go to the blue port from your modem directly you need this cable this is LAN cable put in any yellow port anyone as you want leave the router one side after that the other part of this same LAN cable put at your desktop or laptop PC when you connect your laptop or desktop PC first if your laptop PC or desktop PC connected to any internet delete from that and and when you connect your router you will see you already connected to the internet via this router and as you see the default name of the router should appear here that is TP-Link 5D0474 is connected and you can click at the internet and you can connect to the internet properly but this moment we don't have any Wi-Fi for configuring Wi-Fi in Windows 7, Windows 8 or Windows Vista, Windows XP system will be same you have to click at my computer you have to find this icon it's called network in network to Wi-Fi router you have to click this one without any antenna when you click this one you will see they will ask you the username and password this is one way you come to this page or another way you have to type your address bar for example close all of this click Internet Explorer and at address bar type 192 point one sixty eight point one point one after that click enter they will ask you username and password this is the control panel password and username normally the default username and password is ad mi and admin password also ad mi and admin after that click ok and here i am at the settings or control panel of my tp link router here are so many options you don't need to touch nothing click at wireless option here you need to put what the name of Wi-Fi you want to give to your router or Wi-Fi signal this is your SSID delete the default and put for example I want to put Harry after that choose your country I'm at this moment at Argentina so I have to select Argentina be careful about that after that hit save you have to reboot this for taking the save as change as you see click here for reboot click click reboot okay and it's done 
and it say now the page can't be displayed doesn't matter click refresh you will connect again to that page click wireless and you see now harry and argentina is safe click the second option from wireless click the second option that is wireless security click this one here you have to put the password you want to put for your wi-fi the first is disable if you don't want to put any password choose this one if you want to put a password a good one choose the second option this is wpa wpa2 personal and the third option as you see password put here the password you want to put for this wi-fi q w e r t y u i you have to put eight digit after putting this you have to go down hit save click ok and one more time you have to go down and hit here click to reboot click reboot click ok is done now for close close all do few more things disconnect the LAN cable from the laptop and also the LAN cable from the router leave the router one side you have Wi-Fi available now go again one more time to your laptop click internet option here as you see my new Wi-Fi here is available click this one click connect they are asking me for the password put the password click next click yes turn on sharing center and as you see I am connected now for check is working or not I click Google Chrome and as you see I am connected to the Google this is all my friend if you like this video please do subscribe if you have any question leave me as a comment I will try to answer you as much fast as possible as always, for more information, go to the RS Communication, www.rscommunication.com. Have a nice evening.